Hello guys, my name is Martinez and today I'm going to share some thoughts of using Photometer for some time. It's been 3 months since I purchased the software and it became my number one software that I use every day. This is beautifully built software that is really convenient to use and it's really fast. So let's start with the positives. Okay, so first and foremost, this software is built with, my, with a mind not only about the pros, but also casual user. By saying this, I mean it has super logical layout of tools and also uh, all adjustments you see here, they can be turned off if they are not understandable to you. In general, this software is so easy to use. So let's say you messed up with the adjustments, don't like it anymore. Just press revert to original button and you have your original image. This is a clear example of having a convenient button that you might use and it's not hidden anywhere in submenu, so it's really thought out. The next thing I would like to point out that it's super easy to create your own presets gallery. I renamed them and uh, have on on the quick access. I also have some film presets that I made by myself uh, using uh, real film scans along with uh, the same digital shots. And another thing that's really convenient, you can export it as a lot and uh, use these presets uh, for your video project. My next observation after using this program for three months, it's that super, super fast to use. This software absolutely flies on MacBook 16 inch M1 Pro. Uh, you can zoom in, zoom out so quickly, you can make adjustments without any lag at all. And, um, and the way the software works, the way it exports images so fast, um, it's incredible, incredible job. That was already achieved in Pixelator Pro. And uh, dare I say, it's, it's even quicker here. So now let's discuss less positive things. For example, let's make a few adjustments and export this image. Okay, so the software exported it, but uh, if I go to the next image, be it a full gallery view or just a swipe to the right, what I get is this window. And every single time you do adjustments and uh, go back or, or switch an image, you get this window where um, it's basically Apple thing due to their privacy and uh, super protective nature. They're basically asking you if you're really allowed to modify your image in, in Photos Gallery. One thing to mention that if you're going for batch image editing, I think this this is not relevant anymore because you have to press it like one single time. Another area where this program could benefit is um, improving copy and pasting adjustments. By saying this, I want to show you an example. So here we have our untouched raw image. Let's make a quick adjustment. Let's add uh, gradient. So here we have our basic adjustments and uh, I want these adjustments to be copy and pasted on another Im image. So what I'm uh, going to do is to go to image adjustments, copy it. Keep in mind there is no window that would uh, allow me to choose what I want to copy. So I go to next image, again press modify image pop-up window and then go to and paste adjustments. It pasted only raw layer adjustments. It didn't bring a uh, gradient, gradient mask here. Okay, you might say, just click a gradient mask, copy it again and paste it. Let's try to do this. So there is another pop-up window. I get to linear gradient mask. I go to copy adjustment. I go back and paste it. So what we got here is just a adjustments of that mask but not the uh, layer itself so as you can see there are no any copied layers it's just the adjustments of linear gradient mask uh, on the, this image so this software doesn't understand that i need to copy and paste the mask let alone any more advanced function like a sky adjustment which would require program to recalculate and adapt to this image the last thing i wanted to discuss is the core one Speaking in short, uh, Apple RAW engine uh, has its own view of uh, detail recovery and uh, sometimes you can get wrong perception of your camera that it's not resolving uh, details as good as some other cameras. 
Believe me, I have some true examples where I can clearly see that Apple RAW engine is just not resolving the true RAW file. So here I have an example of the person, uh, which I can't show due to privacy reasons. And uh, you can see that the same file opened in the Photometer Pro and adjusted because the face was in deep shadow. You can see that it basically is a blotchy mess. The details are absolutely gone. Here we have Luminar Neo approach. For sure, the image is not really good either, but you can clearly see that uh, there are still some details left. It's not a single blotch of black and, and other color. In a short observation, it looks like that uh, Apple RAW engine smooths out and applies some sort of noise reduction, even though you didn't ask for it. So this is something to think about, guys. This is a core of Photometer and Pixelmator Pro. For sure, I need to, to do more tests and uh, with different cameras, but uh, for now, an old, but still powerful and still beautiful to use Leica I made, shines better on Luminar Neo as it resolves more detail and it's clear, you can see, um, it leaves the noise, but it leaves the details as well. So in conclusion, the software is amazing to use. It's super fast. It's uh, quite affordable and uh, it's powerful for almost everyone. There are some issues for sure, but uh, would I recommend this program? Absolutely 100%. Just keep in mind that in some super rare cases, you might not resolve all raw file power that your camera might have just because of Apple RAW engine. And that's it. I hope uh, my thoughts were useful if you're on the fence of thinking purchasing this software or not. And uh, I hope to see you in the next video. Thank you.